today. I'm so sexy, I Ooh, might add. Really? So Jessica and I ran into each other, thank you. Um, Jessica and I ran into each other the other night and I looked at her hair and I said, I have been dying to cut my hair. And I was like, see, it's your hair that I'm coveting. And then you said the two magical words. You said, well, you know, I'm a little inspired by some Taylor Swift. And then we got on that rant. <laughs> we all know infamously, like her cat is named Meredith Grey. I know. She's a Grey's Anatomy fanatic. Right. Right. Is it true that you saw her somewhere and she beelined for you? Right. What happens? Here's how it happened. <laughs> I was in a crowded room. I see her across the room and I'm sort of fangling, oh, this Taylor Swift's here. That's so amazing. And she looks at me. <coughs> and I look at her. <laughs> and I think, who's she looking at? <laughs> she was looking at me. She comes over. And she says to me, <clears throat> you are one of my favorite protagonists on television. And I thought, A, oh my God, and B, I'm a protagonist? I was going to say, <laughs> I love the word protagonist. So that was when we first made our first connection. And then maybe three or four years later, I ran into her in a restaurant. And then I invited her to come sit with us. And she did. And then... She, we sat and talked for like an hour and a half. It probably was 45 minutes. It was an hour and a half. <laughs> That's so exciting. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, it gets better. It actually gets better. It gets better. She was so lovely. We had so much fun. And we were all just talking, chatting, blah, 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 blah. And then I think we, we exchanged numbers. <sighs> And then 1989 came out, and then my babies were like singing Shake It Off in the bathtub, and I would send her videos. No! I know. And she would respond. No! I know. And then, and, then I, and then we went to the 1989 tour, and, um, and then I think she changed her number. <laughs> I love her so much. Okay, so her father is Steven Spielberg, and so that is my father figure, and... He's the only father figure I've had, and we've known each other since elementary school, and then being on the set of Temple of Doom, yes. which is where he and your mom fell in love. Yes, and where we met. And <laughs> yes, exactly. So I met him when I was six. You probably met him when you, how six? old were you? Six? So exactly. Yeah. I might have been five, because I auditioned for Poltergeist, and then he said, no, this is We're going to save her. That's not... save her for something else. It's not the right thing, which, of course, I was, like, crushed. But then he was like, but there's something else. And I was like, okay, I'm back. Okay, yeah. I've got another chance. I think that worked out. I think it worked I out really worked well. Out. <laughs> um, and, um, but I'm inextricably linked with your family. Now, I was thinking about this memory of watching um, movies at your house um, in the screening room. In Los Angeles. Yes, yeah. in Los Angeles. And we had watched this independent film called Safety Not Guaranteed with Aubrey Plaza, who I'm in love with. And yeah. uh, I remember Steven Spielberg watching uh, the movie and it ended and he goes, that was really amazing filmmaking. And I knew from the ending of the film that he stuck the landing and he was waxing poetic about the director. I then find out not too long later that he hired that director for the Jurassic Park franchise. Well, there you go. I know, how cool is that? I was witness to that moment. Okay, um, after the break, Jessica is gonna spill everything about her return to the one and only Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. 